In today's Smart Money, what are some signs that you're ready to retire in 2023? And once you retire, do you know all your options for what to do with your retirement savings? For the answers, we turn to ABC7 financial contributor Brian Myro with Myro Capital. Brian, the big question for a lot of people is, can I afford to retire? So let's start off today by talking about some of the signs that we could be ready to retire in 2023. Well, hello, Mark. We're happy to be here today. You know, here's five signs that you want to you want to pay attention to uh, to know that you're going to be OK to retire, starting with the most important. The first thing you want to ask is, are you financially prepared? Do you have enough saved up to step in to the retirement of your dreams? The second thing you want to pay attention to is ask yourself, do you have a plan to deal with emergencies? You know, having enough emergency savings is extra important. And you have to have a plan to deal with health care costs. You know, health care costs can skyrocket as we get older. You got to ask yourself, are your obligations met? Are you still supporting adult children? Things like that. And last but not least, are you mentally prepared to deal for retirement? Okay, what's your plan and what's going to be your purpose in retirement? Now, Brian, walk us through how our viewers can assess their situation to see if they've saved enough for retirement. Well, Mark, when it comes to retirement, you want to make sure that you are financially and emotionally ready. You know, you need to run a retirement analysis and determine if your retirement plan can last you the rest of your life. You have to consider things like your assets, your income, your expenses. You got to look at taxes, inflation, health insurance, your debt. Uh, do you have emergency savings? What are your retirement goals and many other topics? You know, a good retirement analysis tool and maybe even the help of an advisor can assist you in compiling all the information and determine if you're ready. You know, the real question that we get asked all the time is, do we have enough to stop working and still live the retirement dream we want to live? All right, talking about saving for retirement, contribution rates to 401k plans hit an all-time high back in 2021 with a combined average savings rate of almost 14%. Now that's the most recent stats that are available on retirement savings, but how do we figure out what to do with our retirement savings and investments when we retire? Well, Mark, in retirement, you wanna be balanced in your investments. You do not wanna be as exposed to market risk as you were when you were younger. You need your retirement dollars to work for you, but also you want them to last the rest of your life. You got to look at your investment strategies and your risk tolerance, and these should adjust as you get closer to that retirement threshold. Now, just as important, you need to have a written income plan. You know, in retirement, no longer do we have income coming in. Instead, you're going to be creating your own income plan from the money that you've saved up all these years. And that money has to be carefully thought out, and you have to know where your income's coming from for the rest of your life. And this is one of the most important aspects of retirement planning and something that we help our clients focus on every day. All right, so how can you help people learn about ways to be more tax efficient with their retirement savings? Well, Mark, I think this is an area where you can really look to improve on in this new year. You know, one thing we're offering today is a free in-depth tax analysis for our viewers. And in the tax analysis, we identify opportunities to become efficient against taxes in the future. You know, many times we can identify strategies to reduce thousands of dollars in taxes throughout your retirement years. And if you haven't looked into strategies like Roth conversions, these could really benefit you in your retirement planning. And you can contact Brian at the number on your screen for more information. ABC7 financial contributor Brian Myro with Myro Capital Management. As always, sir, thank you for your time. Mark, thanks for having me today.